Hey, I'm Garth from Rock the Tube, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly what to expect when you purchase the adult tarantula starter kit. So this is what you receive in the post. Now this will contain everything you need to house uh, your adult tarantula uh, effectively and safely and it'll have everything that the spider will need to thrive in your in your collection so let's open it up and see what's in the box like I said this will contain everything you need to uh, house your adult tarantula so we'll take the lid off and pop it to one side so we've got a spray bottle very important to keep humidity up we've got your coir block and your coir block there is the mud the substrate that will go at the on the floor of the spider you've got a pot then of you'll have a pot of um, orchid bark as well to mix in with the substrate and some uh, sphagnum moss there to keep humidity high if you need it you'll have a thermometer and hygrometer so that you can monitor the temperature and humidity inside your tarantula's tank. You will have a small heat mat, so you'll have a small heat mat that will place on the side um, of the enclosure there. Just to make sure it doesn't get a little bit nippy for the spider. You'll get some cork as a hide a water bowl, always important to have a water bowl with spiders, and you'll have a book, Tarantulas and Spiders in Captivity, basically a beginner guide to everything you need to know about housing your spider so it makes it happy and it'll thrive with you. And also this is a large fonarium, plastic fonarium, really pretty sturdy. And big, enough, and big enough to be able to um, house mostly any adult tarantula. So let's get a set up. So I've removed all the cellophane from around it and literally just that's it. Remember to recycle anything you can and we're going to go step by step and show you now exactly how to set up this fonarium, the starter kit for your spider, for your adult spider. I'm going to go and get the inhabitant, so what I'm going to place into this and you can, uh, you can then see exactly how and why we're going to do everything as we do, alright? Alright, okay, so while we're waiting for that coir to uh, rehydrate so that it's all nice and fluffy for, for the spider to go in this, in this enclosure. Uh, let's show you the uh, the inhabitant who's going inside. So what I've got here is a curly hair tarantula. Now this is the Nicaraguan curly hair. The scientific name for it is Tiltocoatl albopolosus. It's a mouthful. But they are the perfect beginner spider. Alright, so the substrate is ready to go in, so we'll start now setting up this bad boy. Now, when you are setting up something for an adult tarantula, there's a few things you need to consider. So you need to consider uh, water, hide and adequate substrate. 
They're the three main things that will get your spider to, to be well happy and thrive. So for this is a quite a large phonarium, which is quite tall. So you want it to be about half filled with substrate for two reasons. One, your spider will probably want to burrow, so it'll be have plenty of substrate for it to burrow into it. And the second reason there is you want to avoid a, a large fall. So it should be high enough so that it can have a bit of a burrow, but not low enough that it could fall and hurt itself. And I've got the coil, the uh, substrate here. Move on this over just a little bit. And as you'll see, I'll show you. It is damp, but when I squeeze it, no water comes out. Okay, so you see, about the halfway mark. Now then, so that's in first. I always like to put that in first so I can work out then where everything else should go. And I like to, we'll do it this way, so camera facing, right? So I like to start off a little burrow, ready for the spider there. And then this can then sit on the side of the tank just like that and the spider will have a little burrow. Now your spider may not take to the burrow, it may actually just burrow itself and that's, that's absolutely fine as well. But for when it's first arrival it's always nice for it to have somewhere dark for it nice to hide there. Now get some sphagnum moss here. And you can place the moss anywhere you like, but I like to make it quite decorative and it can go over the hide as well. There's quite a lot of moss in this pot. You don't really need as much moss as this, but for the sake of the video, we'll pop it all in. I just need to check if I've got enough space to put yeah, okay, so I'm going to place the thermometer and hygrometer just here and I'll pop then the heat mat across here. Let's make this nice here. Okay, so water bowl next. I'll place the water bowl just in this corner. And I'm not going to use all of these uh, orchid bark, but I just want to make it quite a little bit nicer in there. Just, it looks cool then. And you can actually pop this stuff in in your substrate and mix it in ready but I think that looks cool just having a little layer on the top okay so next we've got the thermometer I'll pop the hydrometer on in a second. Let's get this heat mat on. And the heat mat, all right. It's also got an adhesive side to it, a side to it. So I'm going to pop it just here, all right, now above the substrate. Now I, I can hear you guys. They're asking why why do I do that and why do I don't put it underneath? Well, if you pop it underneath. All right, now spiders have a natural instinct to when it gets hot, they'll burrow down into the substrate. So the hotter the spider gets, the more it'll want to burrow. It'll burrow right down to the bottom, burn itself on, on, on the heat mat. So you can injure your spider by putting the heat mat on the underneath. Super long lead on this, fair play. Just removing the uh, cellophane, remove the ball here. Just move this guy a little bit. And it's going to go just here. Nice and straight. Just because of my OCD. Now the spider, if you think about it, will have the 
choice to burrow down if it's too hot, not hot enough, sit out here. Okay, so we've got uh, the water bowl is filled. We've got a nice amount of substrate there. We've got some sphagnum moss again, isn't it, for the humidity. Uh, we've got a nice little burrow, nice dark area for it to hide, to feel safe. Let's pop the inhabitant, this curly hair, in the tub. There we go. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. And if you want to use just another some bit of plastic there to come out, out you come. Look at that. You know, she should feel nice and tall at home there. And with her in there, it's all set up. I'm going to place this lid on here and make sure it clicks. And that's her all secure. You can feed through the top if you need to. Or if you're comfortable, you can take the whole lid off to feed that way. One happy spider. So thank you for watching. Uh, I've been Gar from Arachna 2 on behalf of the Spider Shop. Please go over and if you like this video, hit that subscribe button for the Spider Shop. There'll be plenty more of these instructional videos coming soon. Thank you guys, everyone take care.